begin with an officer involved shooting that left a juvenile in critical condition. It happened near 500 South Navajo Street in Salt Lake City around 10 o'clock last night. ABC 4's Nicole Newman joins us live from the Salt Lake City Police Department. Nicole, what do you know about the juvenile who was shot? Well, Rosie, what we know right now is that officers were responding to a call of a juvenile having a mental health episode tonight. That juvenile is in the hospital. In the meantime, we are hearing from residents who share what they heard and saw. This is video of the scene shared with us from a resident in the Glendale neighborhood of Salt Lake City. It shows the heavy police presence on the block of 500 South and Navajo Street between 10 and 11 p.m. last night. I was in bed. Um... All I heard is like a whole entire clip go off, eight shots, pop, 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 pop. And I just came running outside. Cops all the way down the street. Officers were in the area responding to a call of a juvenile having a mental episode who was making threats to another person. When officers arrived, police say they tried talking to the juvenile, but he ran away. An officer then fired a shot hitting him. It's unclear if the juvenile had a weapon. The last update is that he's in serious condition. There was just the body laying right there, like literally just over there across the street, like three houses down. Some of the bullets fired appeared to have traveled at least a half a block away, hitting at least two vehicles. When we came back into the house, um, my daughter had told me, Mom, they shot your car. Two bullets went through this SUV's back windshield. Nearby, another bullet hit the back of the driver's side headrest of a truck parked nearly at the end of the next block from where the initial shooting happened. How come the bullet traveled that far? I still missed cars and came all the way here. Now the officer involved in this shooting is on administrative leave while the West Valley City Police Department investigates. Live in Salt Lake City, Nicole Newman, ABC4 News.